Guess who's excited? I'm excited, and so is Obi the Bear. Because guess what he's holding? My iPad 3. That's an excited face! Now, if you are a fan of the show, you may remember the thrilling moment when I received my iPad 1. She and I have been faithful companions. That's the desktop I created with a picture of Santa Barbara Harbor. These are the apps I've collected. And the best part has been reading Kindle. So who are you talking to? I'm talking to myself, I just got my iPad 3. So I got him an iPad 1 for his birthday. And I have iBooks. I read a bunch of articles in the New York Times this morning on my iPad. You did? Yes. And I've been reading about Carol Burnett and Robert Redford, Betty White. I enjoy the biography. What other fun apps? Of course, what iPad is complete without airport mania? You get to land planes with faces. And of course, I have my own app, Our Place. It's a book, a diary, a podcast, and a social network for teens and tweens. Probably the best app that I would recommend anybody who's looking for an app that will change their life. I keep it under business. It's called Sign and Send. So that instead of needing a fax machine and a scanner and all that, you could actually pull up a document within this program, sign it with your finger, and then send it. Excitement! And Temple Run, of course, is mandatory in most states at this time. All these apps will be integrated into my new iPad 3. I am trusting. Let's see what's happening. Get my trusty tools. Close the door because my husband's watching the news. Scissors. Do not run with them. iPad. This is the front, this is the back. The side reminds you that it's an iPad in case as you were turning from the front to the side, you forgot what you were holding. And then on the cover, you'll notice that they're holding their iPad sideways. Mystical, yes? So then we carry on with the scissors. This is where the very nifty iPad packaging is ultimately revealed. The ooh moment. I chose the black model this season. It's slimming. It arrives lit up as if it's some sort of beacon from the future. Oh, oh, the, I was wondering what that little dot was. It's my new front facing camera. Okay, so when you press this, oh! Whoa, it's drifty. It's welcoming me in the languages of the world, much like It's a Small World does at Disneyland. It's asking me, perhaps in Swedish, if I want to either configuration unvolstanding new starten or fartenharen. I guess I'm just going to pick one. Oh, maybe if I select English, that will help me make my choices. Set up. Incomplete. Oh, yes, that's because you guys were speaking Dutch and I didn't know what you meant. Do I do this? No, I don't want German. Hmm. Why don't I try continue? This is not appearing to be very intuitive, Mr. Apple. Next. Cellular connection. Set up as new iPod, restore from iCloud backup, restore from iTunes backup. Well, let's, hmm, maybe I'll try the iCloud. Choose to set up as a new iPod or restore from a backup. Next, my Apple ID. Now there's a bunch of stuff that I need to agree to. 
I agree to the iOS iCloud and Game Center terms and conditions and the Apple privacy policy. Agree. No backups available. You can set up as a new iPad or restore from an iTunes backup. Okay, so the iCloud backup did not work. In theory, it sounded beautiful. In practice, it did not work. Go into iTunes. And of course, here is the international symbol for numbskull. Plug in your iPad. Come closer. My iPad came with a tiny pokey thing for deep recessive earwax, perhaps. Lovely brochures. A new Cordy guy. The pluggy any deal. My iPad is plugged in. Let's see what transpires. Oh, this is a disaster. Now you guys know that I like air supply. A new version of iTunes is available. Would you like to download it now? Hmm, maybe I need it for the new iPad 3. What do you think? All right, let's do this. Checking for new software. Welcome to your new iPad. Let's get started. This computer has previously been synced with an iPad on another iOS device. Restore from the backup of Luis Palenker's iPad. Yes, let's do that. Oh, that seemed like it went really fast because I sped it up in post-production, but in actuality, I had a sandwich and phoned my mom. Now it says the settings for your iPad have been restored. It said some other stuff, but then it went away. All right, let's see if it notices my new iPad is plugged in. I don't see anything that would indicate it notices that. Just the Neville Brothers, Adele, and Air Supply. Wait, something's happening. What have we? Let's get started. Ooh, did you guys hear that? She's talking to me. Syncing Louise's iPad, step three of six, preparing apps to sync. Okay, this is gonna be dull. Some of the items in the iTunes library, including for baby for Bobby, were not copied to the iPad, Louise Palenker's iPad, because they could not be found. Well, if you know the name of the song, why can't you find it? That is a really good song by Peter, Paul, and Mary. You shouldn't lose things that important. For a list of items that could not be copied, click the triangle below. 24 total problems. You're kidding me. This is an Andy Williams song. More by The Letterman? Come on. Who Wouldn't Love You by Stephen Eady? What is wrong with you, Apple? The Water is Wide, James Taylor? Everybody's Changing by Keen? This is a travesty. All right. We'll be back.